So it's finally here. The Prusa i3 Mark III is finally with me. I think I'm going to need some help unpacking this thing. Come on, I want. Okay. Wow, that's big. It's big, isn't it? Okay, do you want to bring up the steps? You're a little bit taller because you're a bit short. Wow. So, mm -hmm. do you know what this is, Sophia? No. Okay. It's a big black box, but there's something very special about this big black box. <laughs> Should we open it up and find out? Okay. Okay. This is a rather cool black box. Yeah. Been waiting for this for quite a lot of months, many months. Oh, see if you can guess. Well, I know it's big. Yeah, it's big. Pretty big, is it a pretty all right. Printer, like, is it a? Pretty printer. It's well, good guess. It's a very good guess. Let's see, shall we? Ooh, a lot of black stuff. What do you think? So that is a 3D printer. It is a 3D printer indeed. And there's some material there as well. Okay, so, looks good, doesn't it? And what does it, does it look like? Does it look like a 3D printer you recognise? Yes. Yeah, is it similar to your yeah, 3D like printer? That's your 3D printer, isn't it? Yeah. So it's similar to your 3D printer. So why do you think we'd have another 3D printer that's similar to yours? Why do you think? Because <laughs> they're awesome. Because they're awesome. They are awesome. You're absolutely right. This is a very awesome printer. But this is the new version of your 3D oh. printer. Yeah. Which is always good to have. But... Do you know what the best thing about this 3D printer is compared to your one? Because your one is fantastic. We love your 3D printer and we do some very cool stuff. But this one is quieter. It's really quiet. <laughs> so it doesn't make lots of noise. Which is the one thing that 3D printers make a lot of noise. They really, really do. So I've been looking forward to getting hold of the Mark III put that down now because here we go yay that looks so good okay so before we go on let's just talk a little bit about this so this mark 3 3d printer was launched sort of uh back end of last year and uh, i tweeted about it on the day it was launched um, thinking that uh, it was going to be very, very popular, and it certainly was. Loads, t thousands of people ordered it and really swamped Joseph Prusa and their team over in the Czech Republic, and they've been struggling to catch up. Now, they knew that this was going to be a big, big success, um, but it's taken them a little while just to get their production fully ramped up because they still had massive orders for the previous model of your machine there, and people were buying lots of those and then ordering lots of these. So I had to wait anyway, because we had to uh, wait until after Christmas to order this one. And I wanted it to be like a normal uh, customer order, a normal delivery. So I ordered this at the start of January, sort of early January. And they had a list on the website showing when that was going to go through production and come to us. And we're now pretty much spot on what they predicted was going to take to get this delivered. And it's the... Yeah, it's the 19th of March, so that's pretty cool. So January, February, March, yes, it took a little while, but they're gonna be clear of that backlog and hopefully have a very short lead time, maybe just days for uh, this 3D printer, you know, coming at the end of March, early April time. So I know a few people uh, had a slightly longer to wait and I was, uh, I was pretty much bang on time of what they predicted, but yeah, this has been quite a good, quite a good order, quite a good journey really, but it's been one I've been waiting for for some time. So let's just quickly go over some of the filaments as well, because these filaments, this was the last plastic reels of filaments I ordered 
um, that I'm going to order. Uh, and what I mean by that is anything new I order now is going to be on a cardboard spool or a refill. Can you pass me some of those refills? Yeah, maybe some of the other ones. Just pass them over. So I've got a, a new a new order from Das Filament over in Germany and they sent through some new PLA and some new PET. So we've got PLAs, really nice colours, beautiful green PETG, really nice. So I've been really looking forward to trying those and another different green here. So it's either going to be master spool refills from now on that I'm going to order or it's going to be cardboard spool reels like the protopasta, protopasta and uh, reform um, filaments that are out there. So talking about that one, I also put the protopasta, yeah, I don't think you've seen this, let me show you. Let me show you. So this is protopasta special reel that they sent me. And it's very special because you'll see when I open it up, check this out. I put this on, yeah, it's got different colors. It's awesome. Right, so I put this on one of the master spools. So it does fit, it just needed a little orange adapter to use the cardboard inner. So what, what do you think of that? Look, it's got glittery. That's so cool. It's I really so like cool. that blue. It's very cool, isn't it? So you've got light blue, you've got purple, you've got pink. There's a bit of unicorn in there, I don't know. There's all sorts, and it's all glittery all the way through. So mm. we're gonna find some amazing Easter things to do with that. And I think this is gonna be used on this new machine to do some special Easter things. That's my plan anyway, when we get this built up. So what do you think, Sphere? We've got some, Wonderful filaments from Prusa Research. Now we've got some black, needed some more of that. These are PTGs. We've got a wonderful oh, metallic so violet, nice. metallic violet, which is quite nice. We've got, oh, the mummy wanted this one, copper, copper, copper one. So that's for a special project I'm gonna do uh, with my wife. And we've got a yellow PTG and finally, a gold and that was also one yes. that mummy wanted as well so that's really cool so we're going to do some fun things with those and again they're going to be my last plastic reels uh which i know that realize that realizes that sort of puts me out of the running of being able to order some really cool filaments from great manufacturers but i really want them to either switch over to master spool or at least cardboard recyclable reels um and yeah i think that's the best way i can support uh, plastic waste and the reduction of plastic waste. So what do you say? Do you fancy building this machine up with me like you did the last mm -hmm. one? Because you did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. And I think you would be able to be able to build this up. Yeah, in not many, not many hours. It looks very good, doesn't it? It's very yeah. similar. So we will it's open really that cool. up and um, let you know how we get on. But uh, I think we can probably build that pretty, pretty quick, can't we? And what do you think? Um, what would you like to print over Easter or before Easter for Easter? What sort of things do you think? Bunny. Obviously, oh, bunnies, bunnies, yeah, bunnies are good. Um, eggs, maybe? Eggs. And maybe, um, don't know, what else? A unicorn. A unicorn, bunnies, unicorns, eggs. Well, mm. that's, that's pretty obvious, really. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I asked. <laughs> so, okay. So maybe join us for next time when we build up the Joseph Prusa i3 Mark III 3D printer and talk all about it and show you how well it works. Okay, see you again next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Brilliant. Mm. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> That's very cool. Do you want to put these back You do back actually get unicorns carrying Easter eggs, so. You do get what? Yeah, you get unicorns in Easter. You can get, like... Excellent. What, unicorns carrying Easter eggs? Yeah. Delivering around to people? Well, well they're, like, they're, like, special toys. Oh, 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 right. Unicorns inside the eggs. Yeah. Awesome. That's a good idea. I'd quite actually like to print something inside an egg. Yeah. So when you crack the egg, there's there's like a maybe we could do that. Yeah. We could have it so it prints the egg and you could crack it and then inside there'll be a little toy. How, how would it be? I like, think that's a really cool idea. Yeah, but you need it like really thin plastic. Yeah, but we could make it so it, it has little brake lines, do you think? So when you could you could crack it like that. Okay. Do you think? We could try and design something. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to put it inside it? Like a little cube? Well, it'd have to be a, either a little fluffy unicorn or um, chicken. Chicken. Little chick yep. that could pop out. Um, I think that'd be cool. Let's do that. Let's do that. Cool.